Hey uh, folks, Quilly Thien here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress! It is Sword Cleans, and we continue to deep dig deeply and greedily, also to make some artifacts, also to have some military dwarves die in the caverns. I'm getting a little disappointed, but... I mean, maybe it's weeding out the ones with no skills? I don't know. Aerith, Amneknish has claimed a craft dwarf workshop. So we'll see what they make in a scooch. Also, notice that uh, one of these uh, children canceled one of their jobs uh, because they're in custody. Although apparently they're also throwing a tantrum. But this is our uh, justice efforts to do a little bit of uh, do a little bit of questioning. That's that's one of our missing artifacts from before. Mill of plants is happening. Right, so craft store workshop, which one is it? This one over here. Okay, so they're clearly going and collecting stuff. I think that's them going back and forth. So it looks like so far they're being able to grab everything that they need. At this point in our fortress, I would probably expect our um our our artifact, you know, our, our strange mood people to be able to fairly consistently find all the goods that they need to make stuff. The exception might be, I could see sometimes we might run out of bone randomly or something like that, especially if we're getting sieged on the surface, but overall we should probably be okay. So we'll take another look at that a little bit later. What the heck was that sound? Cavern Dweller. Okay, see this seems like the sort of thing I should have a pause for. So presumably we are being... So I think this is something that's new. It's like the equivalent of like a siege, but underground. Yeah, we've got Elkbird Invaders, which apparently we're already sort of getting into combat with. We do have the patrols happening automatically, which is in case I'm going to put a kill command on this one, which is probably going to happen pretty quickly anyway, but I'll make sure. There we go. That's done. Oh, no, you still have a kill Elkbird. Sorry, I misinterpreted. There we go. And... Oh, we also have Cave Crocodiles. We did get the message twice, I suppose. Kill this one. And some of our squad should automatically go and hunt these down. But I'm hoping for numbers and speed. There's, it's a named cave crocodile there. Which I was going to say I'll probably get in combat. Kill that, please. Okay. Other. Yeah. Good. Okay, that was fine. It is really interesting, though. Oh. We lost a uh, swordman and all that. So, Thicket. Can I see Thicket's combat specifically? Um, right here. What happened to you, dude? You sure you're finding the cave crocodile? Oh! You are already walking around with a crutch? And the cave crocodile just bit your hand off. I mean, he had some really worn leggings. That might not be helping things. Wow. Wow. Cave crocodile shakes the sword dwarf around by the lower body and the lower spine collapses. Well, I mean, that's not going to be good for us. Okay. Pretty legit. Ooh, suspended construction of a cage trap. Go oh, resume. Oh, there are some little critters running around, so that's part of it. This is a very creepy floor here. Very haunted. Not used to seeing that. I'm also not used to seeing these cave dwellers. I'm pretty sure that's new. All right, mysterious construction has begun. What are you? What have you collected in here? Ooh, a lot of stuff. Galena, cassetterite, cassetterite, nickel, logs, nickel, artwork, leather, leather, jades. They're rough jades. They're not cut. Okay, so none of the material that they've grabbed here is terribly valuable, but there is a lot of it. So it'll be a reasonably priced artifact. That's not bad. What season? Midwinter. Okay. We do have some cranky dwarves. Um, so some people had advised that with our children here, so the chores for children, uh, maybe remove like burial and maybe refuge <coughs> hauling as well, because it might involve some body parts. It might lead to children have bad thoughts, and they seem to be the ones who are the most vulnerable. Too bad thoughts. You can see lots of really upset children over here. Some of our military dwarves as well, and I could see like things are definitely happening. But if we take a look at you over here, 
isolated, didn't feel anything resentful. You're stressed. I mean, you're pretty desensitized. You were seeing a lot of dead bodies. Resentful, dwelling upon experiencing trauma. Became more hateful. Hmm. Sure. Anyone in the hospital? Oh, there is someone here. Dastot! Ooh, you have some nerve damage. You need some treatments. We still have a doctor all set up and everything here. Everything's still groovy with this. Yeah, there we go. Any chance we have like an expert diagnostician? No, just Aerith. Uh, no one with any listed skills for surgery or bone doctor. Yeah, so Aerith is just going to keep being the uh, the generic do all the jobs. That's going to be okay. It would have been nice if we'd gotten some expert somewhere on one of our migration waves. But as far as I can tell, we don't have that. How is our... Okay, this is all dug out. Great. Before I start placing any furniture, I'm going to smooth this whole area out. Um, I was going to say, do I want to reprioritize the smoothing jobs? No, that's going to be okay. I should still finish some of these things here, though. Doors, door. Uh, uh, we will select material, because it wouldn't be bad. It's a good jet door. Not as good, but still pretty good. And then they match, which is nice. Oh, a Galena bracelet. All right, we'll take a look at it in just a second here. Good quality bed. That's not bad. That one over there. Coffee bed seems a little ironic. Does it make it harder for you to sleep? I don't know. Uh, more furniture. Chests. Yeah, it would be nice if they could start expanded. This isn't one we made. It's, a, it's actually only... The chest itself is only modest quality, but I think it's been encrusted. Must have traded for it or something. I don't know. It's a good one. They want two. I could put more in. I mean, the more we also get, like, you know, fancier decor, but that's going to be okay. Well, I'm assuming two. A lot of them, I think they asked for two. And then two cabinets. Uh, right here. Oh, we don't have any. Well, let's put in, uh... Oh, oh. Uh, rock cabinet. We've got a bunch of these bedrooms here, which still need to be, um set up so this is 20 bedrooms let's ask for like 30 cabinets we got the new royal room as well to deck out so there we go let's ask for a whole bunch to be made please and theoretically we are going to get more expertise out of it than before i'm going to wait on these bedrooms just to um is this smooth is this smoothed no it's not but lower priority. Um, just because I want to make sure to use the best stuff over here. And I don't want to have to, like, pick the individual quality for the things for the regular bedrooms. I mean, at this point, there's enough stuff. And if we did organize things so that we do have some more experts working on jobs, there's a higher chance that we're just going to get more, more masterpieces anyway. Yeah, I guess what I'll do is I'll just burn through a bunch of them in these bedrooms and then hope the new stuff comes out better. Let's take a look at our new artifact. So, Boba Titdun, uh, also known as Trifling Charmed. This is a Galena bracelet. Ooh, 8,500 dwarf bucks. All craft dwarf ships are the highest quality. Is it decorated with high wood and encircled with bands of cushion Galena cabochons, cushion cassiterite cabochons, nickel, and aardvark leather? This object menaces with spikes of cassiterite, aardvark leather, and giant moon snail leather. On the item is the image of Ushrir trade at trade action, the dwarf in nickel. On the item is the image of Mebzuth Waldank, the dwarf in lavender jade. Just an image of them, not doing anything, but still kind of cool. Yeah, we don't have as many uh, sort of smoothers and stuff, so it actually... So... I feel like something changed. Oh yeah, I didn't actually do anything with this one, right? I was just checking, yeah. Who actually does the smoothing? 
Is it the engraver? It's so not described. Um, I wonder if the wiki has it. Dwarf fortress smoothing. And if I check version 50. Dwarf must have the stone cutting labor active. Click further on stone cutting. So stone cutters are a skill associated with stone cutter labor. Responsible for smoothing walls, carving walls and fortification, carving Minecraft tracks. Okay. And I think there used to be, I think stone cutting and engraving used to be shared skills so you could train your dwarf by doing some, I know I might be lying about that. We do have a couple who are dedicated to this, but they're being kind of slow. What I could do actually for the smooth stone cutting for smoothing, I could set it to everyone does this. These two will still do it exclusively, although I suspect Rigoth is actually in the military here. Since they are known as an axe dwarf. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. There. This one over here. Okay. You know, as a planter now, your title will change to stone cutter as you get better. So we're gonna do that. Have a couple people designated smoothing all the time, but also allow anyone with some free time to do some smoothing. Um, since I believe uh, currently in the, the way things work right now, I think the smoothing skill only affects how quickly things happen. Uh, stone cutter smooth large areas, good way to train them, doesn't consume resources. Uh huh. There's no low quality results. Cross training for 50. Oh, yeah, it hasn't been updated for the new version yet. Smoothing. smoothing in general apparently boosts agility, creativity, spatial sense, and kinesthetic sense. So dwarves have like all kinds of skills that aren't I'm sorry pudding stone so anyway dwarves have all kinds of skills that aren't like direct skills related to a task but affect lots of other tasks so training them can be useful the forgotten beast if be Dotto Mukta has come an enormous humanoid is composed of pudding stone it has four short horns and it has a gaunt appearance beware its webs okay webs is annoying because it does uh, do a pretty good job disabling the military, and these things tend to spam them out aggressively. Um, even though it's funny to say pudding, I don't know what pudding stone is in Dwarf Fortress. I don't know. It doesn't sound like it's particularly hard, but it's still made out of stone as opposed to flesh, so it might be a little harder to kill than some things. Please stay paused. Where is you? Right over here. You're 375 years old. With high stamina. You're strong. Yeah. Never gets tired. Slow to heal. Well, I mean, that's... All right, let's go kill it. I mean, we could wait. We could batten the hatches. We could do what? No, no. We're just going to go. We recruit everyone. Put a kill command on this thing. Let's go. Trim down this list. Yeah. Title changes are happening because of the military. Oh, I should have set a follow on that. There we go. See where it ends up. So definitely expecting to see some deaths here, but, you know, hopefully we will kill this thing before it rampages through the civilian areas. All right, here comes the military. So you can see the... Oh, geez, we got some deaths instantly. Sorry, I wanted to zoom in here. So you can see it sprays webs, which disables them. Yeah, immediately. Who this... Kel Rovmeb, Dayton Muthkather. So Kivish is currently fighting. You're webbed, which sucks. Yeah, none of our dwarves are particularly skilled in combat. Maybe we should have them training more. Ooh, you have a masterwork steel mail shirt. And before you're about to die. Yeah, you get webbed and then death right away. <sighs> Maybe the crossbow dwarves will have an easier time. Oh, this is horrible. Have we injured this thing yet? I'm gonna look at the Forgotten Beast itself. Forgotten Beast gores the axe dwarf in the head, tearing the muscle, jamming the skull through the brain, and tearing apart the brain. Shoots out webbing. 
punches the axe dwarf in the head, and the injured part explodes in the gore. Um... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and limb you guys and say this is real bad. Have we even heard it? This is healthy, so... I think our dwarves keep getting disabled here with the webs. Punches the militia commander in the head and the injured part collapses. This Forgotten Beast is just one-shotting us over and over and over again. A little wrestling going on. And it never gets really, it never gets tired, so... Well, it can, it just has high stamina. It can get tired eventually. Maybe we just have to hit its predefined kill limit, you guys. I wonder if it came in blind. Oh, it's enraged at the enemies. Uh-huh. Oh my god, it died! We killed it! We got there! A lot of deaths! A lot of deaths! Okay, let's scroll down to the bottom of this combat log with this forgotten beast. So it's this one sword... sword? Yes, sword dwarf that seems to have really gotten... I'm sorry, the count! Our count is in here! I didn't realize our noble was in the military. But apparently he's doing okay. The Count of Sword Cleans punches the Forgotten Beast in the right lower arm with the left hand and attacks Glance away. I mean, that's not ideal. And the Forgotten Beast attacks the Count, but he jumps away. And then he hit a Sword Dwarf. Tendon. This might be a different Sword Dwarf than the one who wins, though. Held away. Attacks the Wrestler. Oh, there you go. The Count of Sword Cleans hacks the Forgotten Beast in the lower left arm arm with his steel battle axe fracturing it. Force pulls the left upper arm. Forgotten Beast strikes the sword dwarf, bruising the muscle. The Count of Sword Clean strikes Forgotten Beast. Oh, glances away. And then just here, the Count... It may, I guess it's the Count? Is it alternating, like, between some titles? Or maybe I just got confused with the Sword Dwarf. The Count of Sword Cleans hacks the Forgotten Beast in the upper body with his steel battle axe, and the injured part is cloven asunder. Where's our Count? Rimtar? Where's your kill list? Holy crap! You killed the Forgotten Beast! You know what? You really deserve a nickname. Pudding Slayer. <laughs> Such disrespect! Alright, health. Ability to grasp mode impaired. We did see something about a ligament being hurt. Alright, make your way to the hospital. As I say, maybe I should take you out of the military, but clearly not. Clearly not. How's your skills? Adequate fighter. Novice, novice. Could be better. Your equipment's getting worn. Say we're gonna find some more dead people. Oops. I was hoping we could reopen this. So you got rest, which I'm assuming is gonna be in the hospital. There you go. Okay. You're unconscious because theoretically you're sleeping. Doctor Aerith. Doctor, doctor, this one here. Diagnose patient. Okay. Okay, going to work. No job. You gonna cycle to something else here? How's our count? So have you been diagnosed now? Treatment plan. So, yeah, your elbow is currently torn open and you've got tendon and ligament damage. So you need sutures and dressing. Which one hopes Aerith is gonna do that for you. So you could hotkey some dwarves. It doesn't really come up very much. It's not that kind of game. But for following people? Now, why do you have no job? You're just taking a tick. Also, are you super cranky? Why are you not doing your medical stuff? Go do doctoring. Someone needs help. What are you doing? Our count needs their arm taken care of. 
listen to the story. And you literally have a super important job right now. What's going on? All right, well, let's get back to you. Uh, how are we doing in other places? Yeah, so mass smoothing is, is a go again, which I guess is going to have to be okay. This all gets smoothed? Okay. Well, we're going to follow this up here with engrave, and this is one where I don't have everyone doing it. I guess I don't strictly need this area engraved, but that's fine. We'll do this. Um, so, yeah, here we just have two engravers. They're not even very good at it, unfortunately. But I really want them to try to, like, focus their skill. Because um, engraving is something where quality matters. It's going to take them forever to do this, but... And placing down furniture will cancel some of the engraves. You know what I'm going to... Hold on. Let's... Cancel this. I'm going to manually set some engraving. So, especially, actually, on the floors, specifically. So I'm going to want to put some doors in here. I think I'll end up with doors right in the middle. Um, beds. We're going to put some furniture on the walls. Yeah, let's tackle the engravings that are going to be under furniture as quickly as possible. Like that. Set up sort of a throne. Maybe a pair of thrones. Maybe flanked by armor and weapon stands. Okay, let's do that. And then we can put down some furniture. Uh, it looks like there's a smooth that got missed right there. Which is weird. I wonder why that happened. Maybe there was a rock that someone reserved there so it kind of got in each other's way. That's possible. We might need to build some more uh, graves. Uh, our count is not here anymore. Did you get your treatment? Going to individual combat drill. No treatment scheduled. There you go. Okay, it happened. So you were evaluated on the second, and on the fourth, you got a ropery dressing on your elbow. Okay. It looks like the tendon and ligament damage uh, is healed, which is great news. I was worried that your... Um, your hand-to-hand -hand combat might continue to be impeded, but it looks okay. And yeah, our population definitely dropped a lot fighting that Forgotten Beast. Holy cow. But we made it through. Good for us. Yeah, lots of bags. Okay, storage space is now starting to look okay. Okay, yeah, still some st steel bar shortages. That's all right. We still have some... Hmm. Well, these are pretty much assigned here. Let's do some more digging. I'll make this top priority, please. Actually, it might be easiest for me to do like this. And then boom, boom, and then just erase this middle part like that. Right, that's going to be for the slabs. Because they can't have the doors for the easy tomb stuff. Uh, Dwarven Child throwing a tantrum. You're so annoying. Confessed. So we're going to convict Inish for both crimes. So you're going to go on timeout for a little while. Did Burr Swallow Dungeon? I think we already... Witness Implicated Burr. I don't think Burr's here. I think that's the... I think that's the one that left. So I think that's just gonna be in this sort of unresolved state for a long time. This is the thing that's assigned to Pudding Slayer. Yep. Although he's probably not happy enough with that anymore, is he? Yeah, not high enough quality. Well, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, Pudding Slayer has a lot of jobs. Like, maybe... Should I take him out of the military? He does a lot of important things. And if he's fighting, he's not doing this. Obviously, Pudding Slayer's pretty good. Laborious Funerals here. Yeah, I think we're going to take you out of this. Oh, I think we can't do it without a leader.
Yeah, no one has any relevant leadership skills. Fish Dissector, congratulations, it's going to be you. And yeah, we're going to replace... There we go. Our count. Even though he's obviously very, very, very competent, or at least competent enough to do some killing. There we go. Uh, you are full. You are full. You are definitely not the wires of packing. Holy cow. Peasant, congratulations. You get the job. Miller. Clerk. Oh, it resets the top sometimes and not other times. Click the position. Clerk. Okay, pause a sec. Something's going on. And. Oh, we have a rhinoceros man poet. You know what? Congratulations, you're being drafted into the military, rhinoceros man. We got more cavern dwellers. Oh, I must be on the wrong level. Or are you not the enemy? Oh, oh, it's just a weird, weird tile. I, I felt terrified while in conflict. Well, there's going to be a little bit more of that coming over here. Confirm. Okay. Yellow diamond. Hmm. Uh, we don't have anything to render. That's fine. Steel bars. Okay. No one's canceling things because they're seeing combat. All right. Well, let's let that go, because it should hopefully be okay. How are we doing over here? That's all good. Okay, so yeah, let's do the thing where we plop down all of our doors over here. And yeah, we're hoping that we're getting more and more specialized people to do this. So if we do this and then we get a new round of doors, it's going to be more likely to be master. Actually, hold on. Uh, cancel. Oh, I can't. Can I just hit X? No. That's annoying. All right, you know what? I won't go through and cancel everything. In in classic, it'd be very easy to go in bulk, uh, uncheck all these, but... The one I want to do in the places where the smoothing's already happened... Is I do want to place the best doors we might have. See, we don't have any particularly fancy ones left. Okay. Well, we know the rest of them aren't fancy, so I'll just place down the rest of them. What I might do is, we do have doors that continue to come in into trickle, but I might specifically go and request a ton of doors to be made. So then, yeah, I can I can pick and choose the best ones for our royal room. We get another horse. Hang on, rock door. And we have a we have a constant job coming in, but I'm gonna ask for like 30 more rock doors to be made here. Okay, that's a lot of invaders now. Okay, that is that is a pretty high amount. Uh, station order, walk over here, please. Hmm. I may have to go and unforbid some items that might have been dropped in the previous combat, too. It looks like the game is paused, but it's definitely not. This is going to take a while for our military to get here. I'm just surprised these guys are just standing around. Now, hopefully the new people are equipping their stuff. But I don't know. I've returned? What do you mean returned? Is this previous visitors and they're visiting again? Huh. I'm not used to actually seeing that. Time is passing, right? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> like, I'm not noticing an event. I wonder if they can't walk here. And maybe that's why these guys aren't moving either? Is it possible this is an unreachable area? Alright, just cancel. I mean, we still have some various patrols. What are you fighting? Ooh. 
Yeah, it does report the um, the retching as still part of combat. All right. Uh, how's my deep mining coming along here for some of my little exploratory stuff? Yeah, okay. over here it was clearly not done. Uh, max party, yes. Dig down into the hot stone there, and then they'll notice hot stone, so that'll get cancelled. I guess I have vision over here now, though. I was doing this to get vision, but we must have gotten it from another tunnel. Oh, ended the mandate. Yeah, I'm not watching these mandates enough. What do you want now? Export of Greaves prohibited. That's fine. I'm okay with that. We're not planning on exporting Greaves. Still late winter. This winter's lasted a long time. We, we keep getting interrupted by some pretty major stuff, so it's kind of legit. Now, I wonder, is there anything I should be tossing into the pit? Actually, we could put all our refuse and just start ditching it there. Although we do have to make sure we keep bones for maybe a strange mood. Well, okay, I guess if there's a strange mood and we need bones, I could just butcher a pig real quick. Okay, that's... Channel... Here's the full vision. So as far as I know, I still never got a message about finding adamantium. I mean, candy. I mean, what? What's adamantium? I don't know what you're talking about. Deny, deny, deny. So I don't know if the gem pillars are still a f are, are the replacement or what. Well, this area here we've never kind of visioned. Oh, we do have some digging, but it never connected. Wait, hold on. That's interesting. Why is that the case? Oh, because that's warm. Is it? Why is this warm? Well, let's find out what what happens when we dig that out. If anyone ever gets around to it. We've got a lot of things designated max priority, so... You know, if everything is max priority, nothing is? Mm-hmm. How are those new door jobs and things? Okay, some of them are starting to be made. Cabinets as well. Okay, that's good to know. Why are you moving so slow? Are you hauling a rock? You are. Making rock door. Okay, I do need to get a dedicated snow stone pile over here. Yeah. Um, with a wheelbarrow, so people will haul some. I'm going to set it right over in this empty... Oh, right over here in this empty area. Except... So it's going to be a stone stockpile. Yeah, with a wheelbarrow. And it's just going to be... The non-economic ore. Yeah. The stuff we're going to use for regular stone working. It's going to be over there. So people will hopefully move those stones with a wheelbarrow. And they're going to be the closest stone to our um, stone workers workshops. So that should dramatically cut down on the time to create. I mean, it's not as close as it could be, but I guess what it could do. Uh, not going to be high priority. Just carve out an area over here. With the idea that that might be our stone stockpile. Eradicating monsters, that sounds great. Let's do more of that, please. And on certain exports. It's the mandates. I wonder if maybe you should set an alert for a mandate that requires crafting. That would be very useful. Oh. Shh. Was that a request for a... Guild? I closed that too quickly. Well, you know what? I can put a cut in the episode here. Hey, it's new season anyway. Perfect time for it. I'm going to put a cut in the episode and I'm going to check the video. I thought I was uh, accepting a petition for someone to live here, but my brain registered a little too late that I think the text may have been slightly different there, so I'm not sure. We'll find out next time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.